I had a dream of a really good like a plot to a story. Asperger's, the secret superpower. Maybe it's a really amazing ability not to have to do small talk with people. For instance, like, you know, how was your day? Yeah, my day was, or in the morning, like, how are, how are you? Oh yeah, I slept six and a half hours instead of eight hours. I'm kind of cranky. Then the, those people can be negative around you the whole day. And then you just fucking end up feeding off that shit. Like, or just the around people. Cause actually a lot of 90% of people are actually just complete losers. No, no matter what profession you do, there's just going to be losers who don't want to be there like in teaching losers who just fucking angry at themselves all day doing that job and they don't fucking do it or oh, i was working for a charity yeah, mate there was there was funny money going around you know that's demotivating mate i'm working in sales before half the team are complete losers mate one guy first day i'm working i thought he was gonna beat someone <laughs> i thought he was gonna actually put his arm up to somebody fuck sakes no one they got kicked out of, of high school the other guy mate 40 year old failed musician who's just fucking negative all the time you think he fucking ain't killed himself already sorry um hey i'd rather just go sales don't work with anybody give me targets for the week i can concentrate better and let me just focus it just takes time work and then those working in a team there is there is good things and you know until you've learned your craft maybe that's a good way because you do get spotted but once you know what you're doing man mate it's just time is the problem and the fact that you're human and have to sleep a certain amount of hours fuck but asperge mate you can cut the bullshit mate i don't have to have sex like every fucking second like some guys which then makes them like animals and that's all they think about they just they're very predictable and they're very easy to manipulate by the opposite sex for one at least yeah don't have to do sex every day i can go out for for a while but, you know obviously you perform better if you're kind of relaxed which only a girl can do for a guy but sometimes you, you have to Take one for the team, and with Asperger's you can. It's like really similar to ADHD, I was doing sales, and like, mate, these guys are just intense. Just slightly different intense, he can maybe talk to more people about fucking dogs or something. Mate, every dog on the street, I was like, wait, should I be, like, am I meant to be doing this? Like, trying to relax, just fucking petting a dog? <laughs> does make a difference though because actually a dog can really put you in a good mood but yeah i think if you can work an extra two days in the week because actually you don't need to go stroke your ego then um who do you think is going to win over over a decade over 10 years of like each year being like making a big jump forward imagine doing 10 productive years of actually like being proud of your work as opposed to hating your job and doing all this social shit man i really hated it at high school because i just found it like it was just a lot of like is that your effort for today mate my effort is different or rather just fucking not make an effort into things that are a complete waste of my time it took but hyper focus like fucking people are spasticated no man i can guarantee you adhd onto asperger's it's very similar mate like i'm saying like this guy doing sales mate he's so impulsive like, like I've not met, I've not met that before, but he was great because he's full of energy. And when I'm excited about what I'm doing, like my my thing, people gravitate to me. But then when I'm not, I'm fucking in a good mood, and people just do not want to be next to me. It's just two bigger extremes. So yeah, Asperger's man, don't talk about it like it's fucking someone's someone's got autism, and that we should like maybe put them in the fucking hospital, put them on some like what drugs do they get? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think so. I think some of these some of these are the geniuses of the centuries. Like Abraham Lincoln for one, mate. Do you do you hear his quotes? Do you hear his quotes? The guy was one motivated guy. A lot of these Asperger kids, mate, they are just they succeed. When they hear a topic, mate, they are killing it. They're like the best. Look at some Abraham Lincoln quotes and then you might understand these ain't normal people. Yeah, like, uh, cause I, I mean, I've done presentations about gardening plants and stuff and I literally gave them everything and I had like 50 year olds just being like, well, the well fucking done. Are you coming back next year? And I'm like, fucking hell, that went well. That, that's when I was trying to get some TV. I'm still trying to do TV in it, I suppose. <laughs> What isn't TV now with the smartphone? Yeah, man, I, I, it's really hard for me put, to put this like kind of semi-negative like Asperger's video up. Even when I tell them, they're like, mate, are you right, man? <laughs> you ain't fucking got that. Fine. I'm like, yeah, I know I'm fine, mate. I'm amazing.
but I'm, I don't really click with everybody, I'm, I'm too intense usually. In sales, that's good though, business, that's good, channeled, and if you could put that into your work. Day to day, man, you just do not know when to stop. That's one of the problems though, you've got to be kind of disciplined. Otherwise, you can lose track of this. You gotta know when to when to be semi-normal and when not to be. Mate, all these like ADHD guys, mate, they end up working into the morning doing doing their own business or whatever. Mate, they should focus. Mate, just kid, just pushing it more than anybody else would. So yeah, this is a positive video, and there's gonna be a few about Asperger's coming and ADHD up and like special needs really. But it's almost just kind of that's my toolbox. Have you heard Albert Einstein? Apparently he was dyslexic and ADHD or Asperger's, fuck knows what. But he was a mixture of all of them, because he was the worst in the class. But he connected the widest dots, because his brain wasn't so good like everybody in school. He thinks a bit more on a bigger scale, which might take a lot more work and a few more years to get to. Hey, please do like it. Um, please do write something on this video because it's always just a negative spin online people these kids ain't fucking retards mate they are fucking some of the most biggest geniuses in the whole of our society that push us forward and about these people we'd be still bloody plowing fields with our dirty feet i will put another video about my traits and like my experience but it's going to be a lot longer uh, but this is what the channel is about man this is it i've got crones for for a fucking reason man and it's gonna be well maintained i tell you now and this video and this channel that's the whole point about it and if you got chronic illness or who knows what then don't give up actually a lot of the illness stuff from similar causes and just try to be more mindful yeah that's another symptom of this but seriously you know superpower no i want a superpower to be a millionaire to be a creator of my own dreams